Do you know what? I, I can be a corrupt communist leader, can't I? Right? That's fine. It's the goatee that's making me do this. What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. We're on a newly released old mod. <laughs> it's the USS... It's the USA States Redux mod. There seems to be quite a few Redux mods on the workshop at the moment. I'm not complaining. More content for me. And of course, if you want more, hoi for, just comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be your hero, baby. We've got the Chonka returning. I do love... I do love my Chonk. I kind of feel like also the goatee is developing... A mind of its own. So if you want to please the goatee, you know what to do. Subscribe! So what does the USA States uh, mod do? Well, it, it leaves Europe as it as it always has been, and then it, it's this mess. Every single part of, of North America is now independent. Even the little little island of PEI. If you ever get a chance, by the way, to visit the Maritimes, it's a lovely place. I would heartily recommend going to uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and, and, and Prince Edward Island. Um, this especially has like a, I think it's like a, is it an eight mile long bridge to get to the island? It's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, so currently there are only four focus trees for California, Florida, Kansas, and Texas. Uh, but I think they're going to be adding in new focus trees. They even have like a, they, they have some images of, of phase one and phase two of, of the progress that they're going to be adding. Uh, I'd be quite excited when the British Columbia one comes out, or just Columbia. Why have you removed the British from it? Huh? But I think we'll play as the new California Republic. It might be quite a nice... We've got a loyal democratic army, the Dust Bowl migration, and that's it. Okay, but that's fine. We're just going to go in and have a rollicking good time. Uh, we, 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 you know where California nowadays has an economy... Is it the size of Canada, or at least a population that's also equivalent or larger than Canada? Which is, for one state, it's kind of baffling. When you look at the size of the nations, it's... it's, it's looks like we also start off with quite a large navy oh me likey and our capital is sacramento apparently the only victory points um for any of the nations at the moment oh no there are there's got san francisco okay i thought i thought i read that it was only the capitals but clearly i'm wrong okay so here's the unique focus tree it's quite a chonky one wow yeah all right then well let's let's a storm is brewing we must prepare ourselves for this storm and safeguard the new california republic I don't often focus on um, mods set in North America, mainly because, I don't know, it's just not, not usually as interesting as, as the European ones. Don't, 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 don't get angry. Sorry, North America. I, I, about a third of my viewership comes from America, so not, not to offend any of you. I've really dug myself a hole there. <laughs> don't leave me. But we'll see if this makes it any more interesting for me. I'm always willing to give things a try. But look at the infantry divisions. They're just... Yeah. Meh. What kind of trees does that... Wait, what? They said there was only... Wait. There was a Columbia focus tree? Why the heck am I not doing that one? What about Alberta? Oh. Oh, it's just a base focus tree. Fellow Albertans. Well, that's good. That At least each each one has a, has a base focus tree. But we have a unique one. What is the most useless state? Florida? Just, just kidding. I should add, um, people get really annoyed if I make a, a slight um, joke about their home nation. It's not, it's not meant, you're not meant to take, don't take it seriously at all. It's just me trying, trying to be funny and it doesn't, clearly doesn't always pay off. It's sarcasm. I use a lot of sarcasm in my videos and and a lot of the time, I don't know if it translates over very well to, like, a British sense of humour is rather a unique one. And I fully embrace that side of <laughs> UK humour. That's why if you ever watch my live streams, which are every uh, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday over on Twitch TV slash um, in in the evenings in British time, uh, you, you'll notice that I am, I am extremely sarcastic when people try and troll me, which is a lot of the time. Oh, non-aggression pack from Texas. Yes. I'm just going to keep expanding my civilian factories until we get the ele- Oh! Never mind. 1936 election uh, has been heated so far, with the three main leaders being Frank Merriam, uh, Sinclair, a communist, and an LA police, police officer. 
I'm just going to go for the one which enables me to expand. California. Here we can. Anyone watch the OC when they were a teenager? Or was that just, just me? Okay. Just looking at the different trees that we could go down. There's the... There's the democratic one, and you got the communist one. Oh, you know what? I could I could do the complete anti-capitalist route. Kind of the direction that America hasn't taken. Yeah. Why not? Let's 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 do Oh, look at all of that negative stuff. Okay, we're now the California Workers Republic. Oh dear. Unstable politics. You might notice though that the webcam, I think it's the quality's better. I think I've changed the resolution. Um, yes, yeah, so let's do that one. In the aftermath of the Longshoremen's strike and Merriam's crackdown of unions, one thing has become clear. The workers of California are under attack. Oh, that's hot tea. Because we're still technically in the Great Depression. This, so this could have been a, an actual route that they could have gone down, right? Yeah, I'm just to find my actions. End poverty in California. Let's go. Because we are only... Mm, yeah, 23%. Oh, the non-aligned by George S. Patton is becoming more popular. Okay, let's increase my stability a bit more. And then if I offer guaranteed pensions, will people like that? Extra stability? Sure. Guarantee them the pensions. Oh, there we go. Anti-democratic raids. Take that, democracy. I am the Senate. Technically the people are, but <laughs> who really cares about the people? Oh, the bear roars. I don't really need to do that right now. I, I I can't really afford to try and expand at all. I really need to complete this kind of stuff. I, I, I guess I need to roleplay more. Is the, do you know what? I, I can be a corrupt communist leader, can't I? Right? That's fine. It's the goatee that's making me do this. But yeah, I don't really have a game plan at the moment. I'm really just... Uh, ooh, we have some decent generals. So I'm, I'm just going to try and get the get myself as stable as possible before I try and think about expanding. I'm, I'm going to try and do this sensibly. Because we don't always like a Rambler fail, do we? We do like to see me perform adequately sometimes. Oh yeah, that disjointed army is bad, isn't it? The Army of California swore an oath to Frank Merriam after the collapse of the United States. Okay, so I just need to go down this route. Either a workers' army or soldiers of the International. <sighs> if I have enough time. That non-aligned is getting scary AF. And the rest of Europe, I, I don't really care about. We're very far removed. I'm surprised at how low on manpower we are, but then I guess the state of California at the moment is, 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 is bad. Texas has a decent focus tree. Look at that. Nice. Lone Star Estate, the old republic, a new ideology. That's not Texas at all. Ooh, the Silver Empire. And Deseret has has formed. Okay. To each according to their own needs. Ooh, monthly population. Get having them babies. Have children to give me more soldiers. Yeah, this is really is a melting pot, our ideologies at the moment. Holy moly. Oh dear. I'm nearly there though. I can Ooh, a great society. Yeah. That would be nice to get rid of that, because that that's horrible, isn't it? I just hope I can get my military sorted out. Okay, so we're sorting out our society. Then if I can establish the People's Army, the economy of California will explode soon, I'm hoping. The question of our military marine. Should we funnel in conscripts looking for the bear to house and feed their every need? Or do we specialise our forces and make the greatest workers' army? Yes, a workers' army. Okay, then that'll get rid of the disjointed military. Oh, another 70 days. <laughs> I like how they've called themselves the Spectacular Northwest Territories. I haven't been up there that far north. I would like to go one day, though. Oh, that is quite a lot of buffs. Good. Hold on. Vermont just declared war on New York. Huh. I have a feeling they're going to lose. <laughs> okay, so the daily change of the non-aligned, democratic, and I believe... Well, fascists can't really go down much more. But we will. Good. Yep, we're going up. Okay. Um... Send forth our divisions. This should be an easy conquest, really. I don't think they've got enough to hold hold me off. Yeah, they, they're really not prepared. But if people are having wars with each other, I really need to get a larger military. So I could do the regional defense of communism. Or a great, a great California, really. Let's do a great California. Okay. Take all states. I imagine the f threat will probably come from the Silver Empire soon enough. But look, I've got a little twiggly. Look at the beep, 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 beep. 
it would be nice to get a bit of warning when like people are justifying on you or when they have a war goal against you. At the moment, we have nothing. So I'm going to prepare for expansion. Good. Then what can I do? Integrate the east. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start gobbling. There's not really much lore around the fall of the United States, I don't believe. What would the world look like nowadays if the United States was all just split into their independent states and each state was their own nation? The Grand Floridan Junta. Okay then. Okay, the Silver Empire. I guess I'm going for them. <laughs> what you gonna do when California comes for you? Ooh. I don't think this Silver Empire will stand a chance. Ooh, cowboy country. Yeehaw. New York has declared war on the Vermonter. Wait, are they not annexing anything? Are they just... Come on now. Hold on. The People's Republic of Nova Scotia has declared war on the drive through state. Hold on. Is that what they've... They've called New Brunswick the, the drive through state. <laughs> oh, no. I think World War II's already kicked off. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, because Romania... Okay, I see. Czechoslovakia went with Romania. Noish. We get larger. Czechoslovakia has been holding. Oh, they are at war with the Allies. Okay, this might be a very short game for Germany. There are some really weird names. Except for, like, the Virginian Empire. I think that's, like, the most basic one. Oh, and Kentucky's still, still going. Okay, Arizona, soon to come under the control of moi. Oh, let's go. Oh, they don't really have any divisions. The big land. <laughs> what the... <laughs> This is quite easy, really. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, I'm just gobbling them up. This is my power. Time to come for Salt Lake City. Woohoo! How's Germany doing? Oh, they've made some progress, and I'm completely out of manpower. I think that's because of the uh, the garrison mechanic now. It does drain a lot of your manpower. Yeah, 74,000. But look, I'm a chunky, 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 chunky boy. Who has rubber? British Malaya. Very well. So how many am I having to have in the garrisons now? Almost a hundred thousand. Oh, yeah, I'll need to do the bear roars next. California and its republic must be able to defend itself and intervene. Mm hmm. Well, it doesn't look like they had any real forces. Um, this could be a problem. That could be a very big problem. My problems may be about to be solved at least a little bit. Really need enough political power to change my conscription law though this is um dicey the bear roars indeed it does Grrr. <laughs> nope we're on the defensive for now so in order to expand the ncr territories we need to have completed the focus local security where is that oh so we can't actually do most of these focuses balls i would have liked to have gained the cause okay well that's a four division encirclement Let's see if we can just pin them down long enough. Okay, that's going to be a nice little encirclement complete there. They re recover from that quickly. So what's the situation in Europe? Oh, like this is just a mess now, isn't it? Wow. I need my population to have more children. Come on now. What the frick? I just need people to have more babies. Should I have gone down Lloyd's way? That still doesn't really help. No, I really need every... I really need... I, I, I needed my territory that I conquered to be called. Maybe going democratic would have been the the best option in the long run. Who'd have thunked it? See, the thing is, like, with Santa Fe, or whatever they are, uh, they're going to fall at some point. Right. Like, they don't have too much manpower. And they, they've got more than me, admittedly. They won't be able to... They don't have the strength to finish me. Okay, now we'll deploy a little bit of air force in Arizona. And then they just can't. They won't be able to push me now. So if I wanted to, I don't think I have the strength to fully attack them. Like, kudos to them. They do have quite a number of divisions. No one's really making a, a massive empire. I don't know if they're just... Are they just puppeting people when, when the wars finish? Or are they just not finishing the wars? Uh, they can't push me now. I can't really push them in the state that I'm in. I need to... They need a, just a teensy bit more strength. Yeah, they've taken <laughs> quite a number of casualties. Nice. So let's see if I can push in some areas. Yeah. We are weakening them. Oh. Oh, no one. <laughs> no one. <laughs> okay. Am I now at war with the... Right. Oh, my God. Uh, who, who am I at war with now? Sure. 
Oh, the common term wants me to join. Who are you at war with, though? Okay, so am I going to send my forces over to... Where, where do I even send them? Where, where, where am I available to send them? Let's send them to the Maginot. Off we go, lads! Entering World War Two in 1939. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know if they're strong enough to have a war with Poland too. Are they? I don't know why the Soviets don't ask for military access here. This is dumb. And that might be the death blow for Germany. If only they would get military access. Oh, come on, Soviets! Where is my army? I wonder. Yeah, no. Where are they? Hello. Oh, they're sailing. Oh, they couldn't go through the Panama. Oh, balls. Ugh. I think at this point I'm almost, like, maxing out my build. Oh, no, no. It's just... It, we've just got more build slots. Not that it really matters. Oh, oh, we're nearly at Spain. Noish. Oh, no. What exactly has happened here? You're losing to Italy. I can't believe France is losing to Italy. I can't believe, like, Germany's actually going to do this. Why, why don't you just get military access? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't get it. I manually uh, just just went into the console and requested access as the Soviets. It's baffling to me that the AI wouldn't request military access. So, you know, I'm bringing the Soviets into the war because it, they shouldn't be losing. Rather naughty of me, I know, but... Oh my god. Okay, so this has erupted. Uh, I'm just glad I don't have any... Um, access oh my god oh my god so many alerts it, this is so triggering so many there are so many events now it's it's oh mate i'm just trying to go around the italians i don't know that it's going to work i was just trying to encircle their whole line when i get that feeling that encircler feeling and now with the soviets just uh, i think they're just throwing themselves onto the german line classic soviets oh i'm actually going to do it i'm going to encircle them nice Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. The encirclement failed. I failed you! Oh, Berlin's fallen. Nice. See, all the Poles had to do was give the Soviet Union military access. <laughs> if they're in the war anyway, I don't know why they wouldn't have done it. Kind of annoying that, despite getting military access, it doesn't give you access to, like, uh, this. Like, my plane. Like, my, 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 my planes, I can't use the French. Fair bases. This is quite baffling, just looking at all of this. <laughs> New Brunswick ended up joining the Axis. Ooh, okie doke. Uh, but yeah, the Axis in Europe is, is collapsing now. Ooh, yeah. Oh, France apparently took it, but France would have fallen if not for me, so I'm taking that as I took Rome. I'm out of manpower again. This whole time I've never had a decent amount of manpower. <sighs> Just move to California. Give me the manpower. Hey, is that the Soviets? Yeah, they came in from behind. Nice. I think this means all the Italians here are in... So oh. Okay, they're gone. Right, uh, and then I think as soon as Germany capitulates, everything's gravy, baby. No, shouldn't say that. That's, that's ISP's catchphrase, isn't it? I don't really have one. Oh, where do I want to go? Well, taking things is really expensive, huh? You know what? I'm going to have like a summer island for California. Well, not that they really need one, but I'm going to take Sicily. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Poland's a chonky boy now. Wow. Uh, what's the rest of the world looking like? Yeah, the Mida Morsi came out alright. Uh, I've come out alright too. And I think that's where I'm going to leave this for today. Like, there's no way I'm going to take all 50 states. That would just be way too much work. <laughs> for the amount of manpower that I have. Yeah, it's alright, the mod. It's okay. I think it'll be more interesting once more countries or states have, have unique trees. But, you know, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try it for yourself. But it's toodaloo from me for now. Ta-ta! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Fat Boston, Zechariah Mosby, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Dave, The Don, Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goosey Dibs, Ya yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Dad Falcon, Ryan Koch, Jack Troku, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!